Just FYI, troll and trolls are completely, completely different movies. I made that mistake. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Troll. Now I said, don't add the S. Don't add the S. So what's this about? Pretty simple premise. You're in Norway and someone's digging in this mountain, making a tunnel. All of a sudden, something wakes up. It's a big old troll. So think about this as it wants to be like a Godzilla-esque movie, but instead of being a big lizard or big winged monsters, it's a rock troll. And now they got to figure out how they're going to kill this troll with a woman the dad, some military, politicians, and scientists all mashed together. Did I like this film? Nah, I'm sorry. I wasn't a big fan of this movie. I thought it was bland, boring, and so predictable. This movie, you knew what was happening from A to Z. You knew the exact tropes of like, for example, like there's this lady. Oh, you know this information, but your dad's crazy. You don't know anything, so get out of here. Or, oh, even though your idea is good, we need missiles. It makes me wonder, like, oh, yeah, you know, missiles, like Norway, sure. I mean, why not? I mean, it's a big old troll monster. You've tried everything. So let's just keep doing the same shit over and over again. And this whole trophy of, like, every politician, every military general, everyone, like, on the National Board of Securities is like, oh, we are all the same. And we must not try anything different because everything doesn't work the same. And this is like, the tropes are just horrible in this film. And then the action. What action? Unfortunately, the action in this movie was very minimal. Even though the CGI was freaking gorgeous. I think the CGI, the landscape of this film was absolutely phenomenal. I give that an A plus for sure because the way the troll was going through the town, going through this theme park, going to Oswald. Is, that, is that Oswald? What's Oslo? I think that it's Oslo is the capital of uh, Norway, if I'm not mistaken. So you have stuff like that where you're like, it looks fantastic. It is a good looking film but the ending the action set pieces what happens in between are just so simplistic and nothing new like you expect like oh there's some some Godzilla shit happening Not, nothing like that happens it's very just like cookie cutter everything about this movie is very cookie cutter no surprises no no differences you're just like yeah I expected that to happen yeah that happened I knew that person was going to die Oh, another random action set piece. But yeah, this movie is just very cookie cutter. You knew exactly what was going to happen. That person's going to die. That action sequence is going to happen. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's going to work. There's going to be a dilemma there. Something's going to be wrong there. They're going to be stuck there. And it just felt like there was no dilemma. With a movie about a big troll going through Norway, you expect to be some kind of dilemma, some kind of just bloodbath happening. But... Everyone evacuates the city perfectly fine. Everything happens here perfectly fine. Oh, we're going to go to this big mansion where the troll used to be king. Everything's perfectly set up. Perfectly set up. No dilemma. Perfectly set up. And it was just like, it was just so perfect. Like, nothing, nothing's going wrong in this film. Nothing is going wrong in this film. And anything that does go wrong, you're like, that has done a million times in this film. And then this lady's like, oh, I'm going to hack into an F-35 jet. It can't be that hard. I'm sorry. Troll was not a good movie. I was expecting some bonkers action set pieces. I didn't get it. I was expecting some at least something unique and different. I didn't get it. So unfortunately, Troll is not worthy of your Netflix time. So Troll will receive a 2 out of 5 of futons, which equals that 40%. Let's see the critics and news scores gave this one. So critics say 88% with 26 of them. Holy crap. Audience score of 47 over a thousand. Here's quick consensus. Troll doesn't rewrite the monster movie rule books, but with mythology this rich and action this exciting, it doesn't have to. But the audience, Troll's decent visual effects are enough to reason to sit through this predictable story, cheesy dialogue, and uneven acting. Yeah, what did the critics say? The acting or the action was not that exciting in this film. It was really a troll running through a city, running through a city. Are blocking itself for missiles. Blocking itself for missiles. That w- Give me some Godzilla shit. I need some fucking dilemma. I need 
Godzilla killing people on Axon, smashing a building, and knowing that when that building goes down, people are dying. Here, the city was perfect. Everyone evacuated so perfectly. So anyway, 47, 40, 88. Chase out with the blue food to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you think it's Topia. You blue Tonys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Yeah, I was highly disappointed with this one.